my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the necessities that I keep in my Louis Vuitton little mini pochette. I just absolutely love this little piece. I have three of them, which I know is a little excessive, but this is just such a great little keep all to keep in your purse or even when you travel. I like to have it with me. This is where I kind of put everything that's in my purse that doesn't really have a place. So keep in mind in today's video, I'm sharing with you all of the necessities other than your wallet. So in my purse, a lot of times I'll have like a card holder. I'll have a wallet. I might have like um, a little small cosmetic pouch with I keep cash. So keep in mind in this video. I am not using this as a wallet. You definitely can use it as a wallet, but I'm going to share with you what I have in here and everything that I keep in my little keep all. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, then make sure to stick around. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see what I have in my mini pochette, then keep watching. Okay. So I do have to start this video out by saying these Louis Vuitton price increases are so unfortunate. They really are. This little guy has shot up quite a bit and I think one of the main reasons for that is because you know not only is it in high demand but also you can turn this little mini pochette into a handbag by adding a strap I do have a strap that I got from organize my bag a long time ago I will insert a little clip where I'm just kind of sharing with you how to use this as a crossbody bag but it has so many different function it really is amazing if you guys are on the fence about this I have done videos on it I've done a comparison between this and the toiletry 15 but I will be honest this item has increased in price Would you believe when I picked this up it was $365 which I thought was a lot then and now I'm pretty sure that this has skyrocketed to $740 or $745 it's crazy I did not pay that price again I got it for $365 I got this one I have it in the Damier Aben and the one that I will be honest that I did pay a little bit more for was this beauty right here this one is from the Escal collection I love the Escal collection as you can see behind me the colors are just stunning it has the silver hardware and then on the inside it's like this beautiful periwinkle blue but I did buy this brand new on fashion file so I did pay a little extra for it but I love these mini pochettes I can't say enough good things and today I thought it'd be fun to do a little what's in my mini pochette and kind of share with you the items or the necessities that you should carry with you and these are like the essentials Okay, so again, I'm using the monogram one currently and let me open it up and I will share with you everything I have in it. So there is just a little peek and as you can see, this really does fit a lot. So I will just reach right in. These are all the day-to-day -day items that I like to have with me just in case. The first thing, and you guys, you might have a little bit of a chuckle, but if you have been following me for a long time, you know that every gal has to have a tampon because you never know when Aunt Flo is going to come along. So I always have one. This is kind of a running joke on my channel whenever I do a What's in My Bag. People don't see the tamps. They're like, Amber, where's the tamps? So you got to have a tampon because, you know, being a woman, you just, you never know. Okay. So then reaching back in, another necessity or an essential is actually some hand sanitizer. So this hand sanitizer is a little different. I recently purchased this. It is by Nushinku and it is Lavendula and this is an all natural hand sanitizer. And I love the shape of it because like it fits in your purse perfectly or it fits in your little keep all perfectly. It's really, really cute and compact. And I just want to give you an example. The hand sanitizers that I usually use are like the ones from Bath and Body Works and you can see how they can have a tendency to be just a little bulky and take up a lot of space. So I love this. This is in a really pretty purple, but you you can get a lot of different colors so I will be sure to link this down below but this is a necessity especially in today's day and age like I know for me I especially like it if I'm gonna pump gas and then afterwards I like to spray my hands and it just goes out like that oh and it smells it has like the nice essential oil scent so if you guys are into essential oils definitely consider this one by Nushinko really really cute and going back in here another essential for me is I have this little mirror, this mirror, it's a little dirty at the moment. Actually, let me wipe it off a little bit. Okay, so this mirror right here is a cute little compact mirror. I got it from the Chanel website. I love this little mirror. It's 
it one side is a regular mirror and the other side is a magnifying glass you never know if you're gonna if like hey do I have something in my teeth I'm at a restaurant and you can just pull out the mirror yeah yeah I'm good or no I'm not you know <laughs> so I really love this little mirror it's so adorable it has really come in handy and it's just similar to the hand sanitizer it's really cute and compact so it fits very nicely in my little keep all okay Going back in, another necessity uh, for me is I have this little, cute little travel size of Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. First off, this is an amazing mascara. It really, really is. So anytime I can get like a free sample with my purchase, I like to get mascaras because I like to keep them because you never know when you're going to just need like a little touch up. And this is like a perfect little size that you can see just has like the little brush and if you're looking for a really good mascara that's going to really volumize your lashes definitely consider this Chanel La Volume de Chanel it's so good so I have this little guy that I keep in there okay and then another item that you need at least I like to have is I always have a couple of different perfumes because let's say you go to a restaurant like I don't know about you guys but I love Mexican food and every time you go to a Mexican restaurant, you can leave kind of smelling a little bit like the fajitas. So I like to have perfume in my bag just to kind of give myself a little spritz. And I have a couple in here. You don't need a couple, but I definitely would recommend having one. First, I have this little cute little bottle. This is adorable. This is the Gucci uh, Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This is such a nice scent. If you guys like gardenias, definitely consider this. It is such a beautiful scent. And look at the little bottle, so adorable. And then another fragrance, this is sticking with Gardenia. This little guy is Chanel Gardenia. Can you tell I like the Gardenia scent? I really do. This is probably one of my all-time favorite scents. And I got this cute little sample directly from the Chanel Boutique, but I love it. This is very, very special occasion scent, but it is a very light Gardenia scent. So the only bad part about this fragrance is it doesn't last as long as I would like, but it is just such a beautiful, beautiful, special scent. I love it. Definitely one of my favorites. So I keep it in there. Okay. Do I have any more fragrances? I think I did have another. Let's see. Oh, and then I have one more little fragrance in here, here, and this is just a little Louis Vuitton on the beach sample. I love this scent. It definitely reminds me of uh, being on the beach. You don't need a lot at all because it is very potent, but I like to keep a couple different fragrances in my little keep all because I never know which one I'm going to want to use. Okay, now digging back in, the next item I have is a little lip balm. So I have really been loving this. This is Hermes. You don't need an Hermes lip balm, but this has been so great. I really love it. So it comes in the beautiful packaging, and this is in the shade Rose Tan. So it is a little, it is a mauve tone, and it just gives you a little hint, like just a little touch of color. So with us wearing masks lately, a lot of times I won't really wear lipstick, but this is nice because I can just put like a little little bit on and it's like I said it just gives me a little hint of color and I love the mauve tone but if you're not into mauve they also have another peachy tone as well but I absolutely love this so I have that in case I want a little touch of color or a balm but let's say I'm not in the balm mood let's say I want a gloss then I love this one right here this is the uh, Dior lip glow oil this is in the shade 000 it is the universal shade and this is really nice because it has a really really thick applicator so it goes on your lips really nicely and it's really really shiny and it goes on your lips smooth and it doesn't feel sticky at all I love this but I would recommend if you are going to pick it up, pick it up from the uh, Dior website because then it's going to pa come packaged really nicely and you'll get samples as well. And you know, a lot of times you can use a uh, coupon code. So love this for a gloss. Okay. Another gloss that I have in here too is this little cutie right here. This is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. So I like this because first off, it is so adorable. It came as a little gift with purchase, but I like this because this doesn't have any color, but it's a way to just kind of plump your lips a little bit. So I feel like these are kind of all a little different. This is gonna give me a little touch of color. This is gonna just give me, like make my lips plump a little bit. And then this is gonna give me a glossy tone. So I have all of those. Do you need all three? No, but that's what I 
seem to have in here. All right, another item that I think is a necessity is a hair tie. So for me, I do have long hair and you know, you never know when you're gonna need to pull your hair back. And not only that, I also have a 10 year old daughter who likes to wear her hair in a ponytail. So I like to keep this hair tie, this one right here. I got it from Sephora and I like it because I find that when I put my hair in a bun, I don't have to worry about it creasing as much. So I really, really like these. Um, I can't remember the exact name, but I will be sure to link them down below but again never know when I'm gonna need to put my hair up or my daughter so always have one of these okay another essential is some hand lotion so if you're gonna use hand sanitizer a lot of times I like to follow that up with hand lotion so one thing I recommend I do like the Chanel hand lotion but that comes in the little egg and it can be a little bulky so if you are ever ordering something from the Chanel website you can get this little lift this smooths and firms but I use it as hand cream and I really really love it and it's super cute and little so it fits in your purse I have this one and then I think I also have which other one I also have this one right here this is the sublimage and I use these on my hands and I, I mainly like to carry them in here because of the size too so yeah you definitely need a hand lotion especially if you're gonna be washing your hands a lot using hand sanitizer you want to smooth those hands up okay and then another little necessity that you're gonna need is a little nail file so for me I have long nails and I do have times where sometimes like I'll, I'll chip them a little bit so I like to have a nail file this is a cute little nail file that I got I want to say it was in the Chanel number no. five collection it is the little it is so cute it has a little CC logo it has the little velvet case so any type of nail file will do I was so excited to get this here's someone who has long nails definitely consider keeping a nail file I definitely think it's an essential and then the final item that I have in here that I think is an essential is a pen and my good friend Katie got me this pen it is by Kate Spade but it is pretty it has like sparkles and glitter all over it but how many times are you out somewhere and someone's like, do you have a pen? Or I have a 10 year old daughter, mom, I need to do a word search at a restaurant. Do you have a pen? You know, do you have a pen? We're in the car, you have to write something down. Do you have a pen? So I found that this is definitely a little keep all essential for me. I always have to have a pen. So there you have it, you guys. Those were all of my little mini pochette essentials. These are all the items that I like to keep on me because you never know when you're gonna need these items. I hope it was helpful. This mini pochette is so great. I, it is so unfortunate about the price increase, but I absolutely love this piece. I really, really do. So now I would love to know what are some little keep all essentials that you guys have in your purse, like some little things that you just can't be without that you never know what you're going to need. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Like usual, everything I mentioned in today's video, I will link it down in the description box in case you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well and stay tuned I have a lot of really fun and exciting videos coming for you and I hope you guys have a fantastic day Wish me the